but not sopping wet. Ideal habitat not for a pill bug. That's right. Not straight out <laughs> of the shower by any means. Hey everyone, it's Missy Out Game Stuff. I'm here and today we're doing a tutorial on how to do beachy waves. Uh, we've been trying to do them for a little bit and we found sort of the method that works for us. Yeah. And so my hair has been washed and brushed. Yeah, so she used the shampoo and conditioner that we got the other day. Yes. And like Presley's hair sometimes, like every once in a while, it will just do these really amazing beachy <laughs> waves, like naturally. Yeah. And it looks fantastic. And so we've been trying to find a way to kind of recreate it a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Um, with, you know, mixed success. Okay, here's standing early. All right, so, uh, yeah, so shampoo, conditioned, and then just let it dry, you know, I don't know, half, a little bit. It gets damp, good and yeah. wet. Uh, but not sopping wet. Ideal habitat not, for a pill bug. That's right. Not straight out <laughs> of the shower by any means. Uh, and then we really liked this uh, salt water spray. We're using sea mist. Um, this has been pretty good for us so far, I think. It just gives a little bit of extra texture and volume. It smells good. And it does smell like lavender. So it's perfect to put in at bedtime. Yeah. Just, I think one of the biggest pros about this and the shampoo I'm using is my hair always smells like I just left the salon. And, and I like that. Yeah, I will say that, uh, you know, we just got that shampoo and conditioner and then we did the honey coconut oil thing the other day and Presley's hair is already feeling like a ton better, like it's yeah. really feeling a lot healthier. Uh, and then we've got these little spongy rollers. Um, I watched a tutorial online the other day and someone used pipe cleaners and just took like a fistful of pipe cleaners and twisted them together to make a thing like that, which you could totally do and would be awesome, but you can also just buy some of these. Um, and so we're just going to do kind of chunks of hair. The Like we talked about before, I think the uh, beachy waves, like one of the signature pieces of that is they kind of start lower. So the top part is not curled and, or wavy and then the bottom part is. So I just put a little hook in it. So we always, uh, closest to her face, want to go away from her face with a wrap. And then kind of leave a little bit of room. So you should be able to see the roller in between the hair wraps. And then the bottom up. And then kind of close the whole thing up on itself. And woo! About like that. So that's one. And we'll just kind of want to break little sections of her hair up and do that all over her hair. And then once you get kind of back in the back, you can wrap the other direction. If you don't want to wrap and keep everything going away from her face, can wrap, I'll wrap this one towards your face. So people have really been commenting how nice it is to see a dad doing mm -hmm. this sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Do you have thoughts on that? Yeah, this falls into the category of things that if you had told me 20 years ago I would be doing with my Saturday nights, <laughs> I would not have believed you. Um, but this is the life of being a dad. And you know, it, it's cool. Like I like how her hair looks when it gets all the beachy waves in it and stuff. And then I like kind of the experimentation, like just cause I like science and stuff like that. I kind of like the experimentation <laughs> of trying to find the right formula and the right method and why things make her hair wavy and why things make the texture behave differently. So like there's a whole fun aspect to it that you can get out of it too. Let's do this up, let me get back with bless you, Cooper. Yeah, so. You do a lot of things when you're a dad you didn't think you were going to do. And you enjoy them. Like, that's the best part is it's actually kind of fun. So I think when I did it, I did it in much smaller pieces. Like, I used every single one of them. Did you? Yeah. yeah. So that's wrong. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm not going to say wrong. I, I'm not somebody to ask. I used bigger chunks. And it worked really well for us mm -hmm. when we did it. I think Presley was saying too, like I did a little bit higher, like yours were hanging down mm -hmm. lower when you did it. I think it's one of the things Presley noticed um, for what it's worth. But So it's not too much hair, not too, if you can see these spaces. And one of the things I saw in the tutorial was that the space should be about as wide as the hair. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of a perfect wrap. So that, you know, I think one of these I had a little too much. So if, if it's done right, I think that's about what it's going to look like. And you also, like, these are different sizes, too. So depending on how much hair you've got, like, this oh, is just are? a tiny little piece that's left over. Yeah. So I'll use a thinner rod. Okay, so that's it. 
like you just kind of got all the way around all over here kind of wrapped up they're nice and soft and spongy so she can sleep in them yes. and we've tried it with putting them in at night before she goes to bed and letting her sleep in them um, and we tried it with her doing it in the morning and just letting her hair dry like this and taking them out and the, the uh, we've only done each of them once but the one time we did it having her sleep in it worked better the, the, they set more or whatever it, it just kind of came out a lot better um, so we will we'll keep trying it kind of both ways to see if we can do it like get up in the morning and take a sham take a shower yeah. and then get it ready for an evening but when we know we're doing something the next day we'll just do it this way too and kind of see if we can get it to both work but so far this works so now yeah. the, becomes the hard part which is just going to bed mm -hmm. and then we'll uh, we'll loop back tomorrow morning and we'll show you how we take them all out and show you what it looks like when we take them out yeah awesome it's just as easy as that i mean that's the beautiful thing too is it's easy there's no heat mm -hmm. There's no chemicals, like it's easy to run your hair and stuff. Yeah. So it's kind of a nice way to go, I think. Yeah, yeah. this is just... If it keeps working. That's basically water. salt water with yeah. lavender in it. Yeah. I'm going to spray it on my face. Mm -hmm. Don't spray it with your face. Yeah. All right, cool. Good times? Good times. All right, we'll see you in the morning. Okay, so it's the next morning. Oh, I just woke up with all of the curlers in my hair. They're actually relatively easy to sleep with. You can't, like, sleep on top of them, <laughs> but you can move your hair out of the way, mm -hmm. and it's fine. Yeah, that was one of my questions. How hard is it to sleep in them? It's, a little, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Okay. So we've got some, I saw some hair hanging out. So we missed a couple of strands, but we'll see what happens, okay? So all we're going to do is reverse what we just did, or what we did last night. So open, open, and then from the bottom, unroll. Yeah. And then you get a really nice curl. So you can see too, like, hold on one second, yeah. like the smaller. Mm -hmm. A chunk of hair you do, the tighter that curl is going to be. So that could have been a bigger chunk, probably, to do like beachy waves. I mean, you can certainly do that and, and curl it for a more curly look, but for the beachy waves, it actually looks better with bigger chunks of hair. Like that looks a little more like what I'm after. This one may be too big, but it's actually not bad. Super curly. It was a small one again. So now it's just fingers to kind of join these back together. Yeah. Keep them from being separate. Sorry, sorry. And you get kind of, it'll relax a little bit this morning. Yeah. But that's actually pretty good. Turn around and see the back. So those are nice. <laughs> nice texture. Presley, what did you say? How does it feel? It feels very large. It feels big. Yeah. It feels like when I have really poofy hair because sometimes my hair just decides to poof. Uh -huh. It feels like that. Yeah. So after like an hour or so of her kind of messing with it, this stuff kind of relaxes a little bit, but it stays kind of chunky textured and stuff. I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? We'll go look and come yeah, back and tell us what you think. Okay, so yeah, it feels super, it still looks super weird to have my hair all curly because mm -hmm. I've had like straight hair for the whole my whole life. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really cool and I think it looks really good. And as I said, this will relax a little bit and start to match this side a little bit more. Uh, and yeah, I just think it's super fun. Yeah, so I think this is the side where we had some smaller ones. So you can see how it's like tighter it curls. Then this is kind of more real. This is more what I wanted to do. Yeah. And so when we do it next time, I'll do bigger chunks um, just to make sure that it's a little more relaxed and less tight curls. But it is kind of like just nat it looks more natural because it doesn't kind of match all over. Yeah. So it looks more like beachy wave kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right. So that's how we're we're probably going to do our beachy waves for a little bit. We'll probably try a couple of other techniques too. Yes. But for now, I think that's going to be our go-to technique for getting some curls and texture in your hair. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to press the subscribe button to see more videos like this. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye, guys.